Hello everyone, this is a uh, drafting problem number four demonstration. We're gonna make a GDNT drawing out of uh, this insert part. And the part is simply made by extrusion of one sketch. And I intentionally used the origin point in the circle and cut off so that we can utilize in in the uh, drawings as well so we're gonna start with template I already made it so we're gonna put the front view and we're gonna have a right side or uh, left side in this case because of what the geometry we have so insert view projection from view is waiting for you to pick up. Let's go to part, pick up the from view will be, and click. See the from view being inserted. I don't need a title in this moment. As you can see, this uh, the origin point of this part will be show up here with the blue point. So if we are making the drawing. Uh, or a or in something like this definitely when we try to indicate it origin point this is going to be out of space so that's why we have to use a little bit different skills today but so I'm gonna put uh, projections your right left side All right. Alright, then I can start putting the dimensions first. So first one is I will start with the 17.8 from here to here. So this is the distance. So there we go. It shows as a feet. So change it to the numeric inches. And I'm sorry, this is a millimeter, numeric millimeters. Uh, so it's going to be uh, basic dimensions. There we go. Again, seems like it's way too tall, so I'm going to pull out. There we go. Then I have uh, dimensions 56.95, which is from here to here, so this is the distance. Again, this is millimeters but again this is going to be the reference only is not the actual the dimensions uh, inspector using it so I'm going to use properties and under the property if you go over that dimensions then there is a tolerance dimensions line there are a lot of options you can change but we are jumping into the dimension text and you should be able to add the bracket, which is will make this dimension as uh, reference dimensions. All right. Once it is done, then I'm gonna add uh, another dimensions, uh, which is 12 plus minus 0 0.15 millimeter, which is in your left drawing. So I'm going to go to dimensions, of course, this is going to be our dimensions, and it's going to be, you make millimeter. I'm going to pull out because I'm going to have a tolerance right here. So to activate a tolerance, here's a tolerance pull down menu. Then we have to indicate what kind of a format of a tolerance we're going to have to use it. So I'm going to use the NC numeric number 2. I'll use this one. Then also the, the format of the tolerance we're going to have is going to be show up next. So I'm going to have plus minus 1, 5. Then I can find there. If the to one of the tolerance, the all tolerance you're gonna put it is not existing as a part of your pull down menu, you can just go to properties and go to the tolerance, then you can pretty much write down what it wants. 
In this case, the H6 and F7 tolerance been applied automatically here as a tip. All right, so we got the dimensions for the thickness. We have 17.8 here. We have 15.695 here. So it's time to put the radius of this one, which is a 100 millimeter radius. But again, if we activate this one, the center point is way off or, or out of space. So definitely we need a little bit different technique here. So let's just start with radius, indicating that there. And again, I like to point out where the center point it is. So I'm going to first click. Then I'm going to change that as, of course, mimic millimeters. Then here, if you right click, properties, and under the dimension line, and there are many options. Again, we can explore. One of them we're going to utilize here is. Uh, If you're going down, there is a foreshorten. Okay. Instead of indicating the whole way, we can just point it out where it is in the center point with a foreshorten one. So foreshorten, then say OK. Then you can see it as a following. So also, one thing I didn't check yet is under the four shot and you can actually position the positioning in manually. So if you check that one, this the position of your four shot and you can manually line it up. So you don't have to make way make it too far or too short and so on and so on. So in this case, why don't I put put out a little bit more so that we can see it? And I'm zooming in. Then you can see uh, this foreshorten. The center point will be will be expressed this way. Uh, so after that, to reduce the confusion here, so I'm gonna make a break point of my dimension expansion line. That can be done by here, the adding the creating interruptions and pick up the dimension extension line first where to start where to end and you can see it's a breaking line will be done so it's much clear uh, then we can jump into oh, one more thing this radius will be a basic dimensions okay you can just make it as a basic dimensions again the position if it is not clear then you can always click and using the shift key from repositioning any times looks good and I'm gonna put the datums A in the front so here's datum get up here's a datum A very good Okay, we have a uh, two feature control frame to add. One will be the back, which is the parallelism to the data A. Feature control frame to the back. Here we go. It's a parallelism point zero. So zero point zero six. Okay, because it is a metric, you have to have a zero in front of a point. And based on your datum A, say OK. Click again. It's not going to be the show as you wanted it. So right click, symbol, then again using the shift key, then you should be able to free to move. There we go. And I'm going to intentionally bring it down a little bit. There we go. So I have a parallelism at the back, 0 0.06 millimeter. The last thing we have is a contour of our the top of this 
from view. So if we do control frame, click, then I will have uh, this uh, feature control frame shows up again in this case surface profile I have a 0 0.3 and I have also U upper limit symbol there we go unequally and 0 0.3 and it's going to be based on datum A. Once you put the, all the information you needed, OK. Then it's waiting for you to have a show, add a shoulder line. Push like that. Or you can use the shift key, you can control the amount, of course. Oh, I'll a little longer. Then click, then you got it. Another thing we have all around symbols. So right click. Then there is application join. It's going to be all around. An all around symbol will be added on your shoulders. So if you zoom it out, again, even the origin is far away from the actual your part, is it there? And we have all the features necessary in this one. Okay, that's the end of this demonstration.